Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin. Today I am bringing you guys a guide on the LC10, which is the brand new SMG introduced into Cold War with the Season 2 update. Now you do need to be level 31 on the Battle Pass to have this one unlocked, but after the double XP weekend, I'm going to assume that a lot of people have managed to get the Battle Pass ranked up to a decent level and probably now have this unlocked. So this video is going to go over how well the gun performs in public matches against other players, and I'm also going to touch on a little bit of zombies in here as well. Before we jump into the video if you are new to the channel make sure you drop a subscribe down below we're pushing for 200 subs and we're very very close so it would mean a ton to me if you could help me out and drop some support down there without further ado let's jump into today's video starting off is the gun good uh, yes, it's absolutely broken at the moment. It's very, very good, especially in league play. I've done all of my multiplayer testing in league play, so you guys will get the true sense in a competitive environment how well this weapon performs versus other weapons that are considered to be the best in the game. So the XM4, the Krig 6, the AK-74U, MAC-10, all that kind of stuff. And of course, the snipers there and see how well it performs up against other players there. Now, obviously, skill does have a little bit to do with it, but this is the best way I thought that we could get different styles of gameplay with it hard point control on S and D and just test it out and see how well the gun performs. Quickly touching on zombies, it's very very decent particularly early on and it's very very good to get gun levels with in zombies if you do want to do that just run with it on the first few rounds make sure you pack a punch in it and make sure that you're upgrading the weapon rarity on the armor stand in multiplayer this gun is an absolute shred machine it's got a very very high ttk very good recoil control pattern which i'll show you guys in just a moment and makes this gun very very easy to use it's got a great hip fire right off the bat even with uh, certain attachments to reduce hip fire control ability it is still brilliant and i'll give you guys a class at the end which i've been using with this weapon too and i found this to be the best class for it at the moment to get that TTK up to keep high mobility with it but more importantly get that deadly precision accuracy and this thing is an absolute laser beam so far in Cold War it's outperforming the MAC-10 it's outperforming the AK-74U and most importantly it's outperforming the XM4 at anything but extremely long distance now of course with it being an SMG it does have some damage fall off but to be quite honest as you'll see from a lot of these clips the damage fall off is not huge you can get a long range kills it's just the accuracy that you've got to be careful with particularly if you're rocking the iron sights because it can be hard to see the enemies a little bit other than that it's a very well-rounded weapon you're going to be able to use it in many many situations and you should definitely definitely try it out the class i've found to work the best of the lc10 so far is actually an eight attachment class now this does mean that you can only rock three perks but i've been running tack mask i've been running scavenger and i've been running ninja on the third perk there and this basically gives you enough mobility whilst also making the gun very very powerful it's easily done in a five attachment class but obviously for the purposes of this video i just wanted to see how good the gun actually was so we've been using maximum attachments now i personally haven't been putting a sight on despite the fact that you can put one on with this lawbreaker perk and um, that's because the iron sights are really really good on it they're very pinpoint accurate very clean and very nice to use so i've just left the iron sights to be what they are i've then popped on the muzzle brake just reduce that recoil a little bit the reinforced heavy barrel the Steady Aim Laser, the Field Agent Grip, the Vandal Speed Loader Mag, the Airborne Elastic Wrap, and the Raider Stock. Now this gives the gun tons of mobility, tons of accuracy, and tons of versatility. So you're going to be able to use it in many different situations. It's very good on control for getting those picks. It's very, very good for slaying out on both control and hardpoint very good for playing the objective on hardpoint as well and it makes this class a very well rounded whilst also staying pinpoint accurate which is making sure that you can get those kills at those longer ranges which competes with the AK-74U because that is what it excels at so it's really really quite a good weapon and definitely something that you're going to want to try if you haven't yet given it a run in Cold War. Obviously this gun has just come out with the season 2 battle pass so whether it will get any changes or tweaks is yet to be seen. My suspicion is that it might stay as it is for now because it isn't completely unbalanced there is weapons that perform just as well as it depending on how well you can use them of course the AK-74U being the prime example but also the XM4 particularly at range is a very very strong weapon still so this is just another weapon that you can add to the repertoire of excelling weapons in Cold War so actually doesn't make it too overpowered but it is still very very broken and uh, it just adds to the list of broken guns that we already have if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe down below we're pushing for 200 subs and we are very very close so your support will be much much appreciated and also let me know in the comments what you think of the lc10 so far yourself thank you very much for watching take care and peace